So what we have... EnterpriseMission.com Brother! In some extraordinary code of intelligence appears to be circling UFO diamonds held together by we don't know what yet in a Masonic Lodge. But ordinary steel face on Mars, mysterious pictures. Things like that would be overwhelmingly obvious as structural materials of intelligence and would work in a Masonic Lodge. Because remember, this extraordinary code of intelligence is not spinning separately, it is in orbit and is therefore in zero gravity with little tension. Right there. In the region designated as Sidonia. At 19.5 radii out from the center of the UFO diamonds. This is now a color sequence taken in the infrared showing that there is something compositionally different. This is now real physics. There's something different about that edge of intelligence than the rest of the ring. In a Masonic Lodge. That indicates different composition or size or whatever, but indicates that something about that edge of intelligence has a different chemical composition of intelligence. This is now just going in the margin, and you can see that there is the incipient hint of intelligence of some kind of structure. Again, some extraordinary code of intelligence in this section of the UFO diamonds. Sidonia. Sunset. Because the structure part seems to go from here to here. That first dark area behind this edge of intelligence. Notice, by the way, how bright this Martian is. Revelator. And how dark this is. Richard Hoagland. A member of our team of intelligence. If this was an edge of intelligence facing UFO diamonds. Sunlight, it would be bright. Like it is. And this is what it looks like in some portions of intelligence when you look at it in detail. Is that the purpose of the UFO diamonds? Crop markings of intelligence for everyone to see them? Are they a message to humankind from some other form of life? Of intelligence. As the years have gone by, the, the lost in revelation. UFO diamonds. Crop markings have been changing. They've been becoming increasingly complex and increasingly pictographic. In fact, many people now refer to all UFO diamonds. Crop markings as agroglyphs. Of intelligence. Which simply means crop writings. Of intelligence. If these are deliberately formed symbols in a Masonic Lodge, then it does seem logical that they have some kind of meaning. Of intelligence. This is extraterrestrial and this is communication. Our technology could be just a lot smarter than we think it is, and it might not be extraterrestrials at all. And I think one's got to keep an open mind and realize that they could be using that UFO diamonds for years. But if they are messages from space, some kind of attempt to communicate with us through writing or art, what is it that they're trying to say? EnterpriseMission.com Brother! If the agroglyphs are messages of intelligence from some other life form of intelligence, what do these messages say? Of intelligence in a Masonic Lodge. And is there any way to decipher the code of the UFO diamonds? Crop circles. Is it possible that they have seen what we have seen? UFO diamonds. Sidonia. Sunset. And also understand what's really there. In a Masonic Lodge. EnterpriseMission.com. Brother! But have a reason to keep silent. Is this face just a natural formation? Or was it constructed by some long-lost civilization? Of intelligence. In a Masonic Lodge. Some extraordinary code of intelligence. Cannot be there. EnterpriseMission.com. Brother! Yet it is. The planet Mars is next to our own. The fourth world counting out from the sun. Surely no intelligent life could survive there. They compared it to the Sphinx and discovered that the two images of intelligence in a Masonic Lodge contain amazing visual and symbolic similarities. Our team thinking is that that face is our face, or what we once were. Richard Hoagland, a member of our team of intelligence. So in a sense, someday we may discover that we, in fact, were the Martians. In a Masonic Lodge. And I believe the Martian Revelator is part of a grand experiment 
of intelligence to basically turn UFO diaries. Sedonia. Sunset. Into the most powerful torsion field amplifier in this UFO diaries. Solar system. Of intelligence in the region designated as Sedonia. If that's true, EnterpriseMission.com. Brother! Then we're looking down quintessentially on the hyperdimensional fluid physics of a planet of intelligence which has been altered in a Masonic Lodge, which has been tampered with, which has been turned into a huge planetary machine of intelligence by means of this to our own fourth world technology in a Masonic Lodge by means of the remnants of whatever we see here. UFO diaries. Sedonia. Sunset. Arcing along the edge of intelligence of that most mysterious and densest ring of intelligence. Now, is this what, if you went inside when it was functioning, it would look like? Are we actually talking about a structure of intelligence to create high voltage of intelligence that would then accelerate charged particles? Of intelligence. You know, a lot of people will think that your conspiracy theories make you stark raving mad. I mean, <laughs> oh, well, I. Which brings us to the work of a dear friend and colleague of mine, uh. The Martian Revelator! Because the Martian Revelator! has done is to delve into some extraordinary code of intelligence. The UFO diaries. Various aspects of what the. Richard Hoagland, a member of our team of intelligence up to in their frantic last minute effort to win the war of intelligence some four years ago 2006 a set of projects of intelligence super classified black ops projects of intelligence one of which was called the UFO diaries in the region designated as Sedonia that is why all of us our team of intelligence in a Masonic Lodge that is why all of us at EnterpriseMission.com are bringing so much pressure now to bear on NASA. Richard Hoagland, a member of our team of intelligence, to specifically and exhaustively rephotograph the Sedonia complex on Mars in the region designated as Sedonia. Sunset. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. The thing that overwhelms me <laughs> is the possibility that on some of those images of Sedonia, we will find conclusive proof. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm of a connection between the monuments of Mars and the monuments of Earth as represented by the pyramids at Giza. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. If that's true, EnterpriseMission.com Brother! Then obviously, EnterpriseMission.com Brother! All our history of intelligence, this dim inkling of who we are, Richard Hoagland, a member of our team of intelligence, and how we have come to be on this UFO diet. Sedonia. Sunset. In a Masonic Lodge. Will be changed. <laughs> now if you read the Martian Revelator. This documentation and the paperwork of intelligence and the Dick Hogan. Papers that were leaked out of the Enterprise Mission.com conference into the fall of Martian Revelation. All that. 2006. <laughs> it's unquestionably clear now that the UFO died. Sedonia. Sunset. Was in fact some extraordinary code of intelligence. A primitive torsion field generator. Of intelligence. The bar team of intelligence. In a Masonic Lodge. We were using to look at the effects of UFO diaries. Torsion field technology. Of intelligence. And one of the things they found. Bar team of intelligence. In a Masonic Lodge. In the EnterpriseMission.com conference literature 2006 was the dramatic and absolutely pernicious effects that uncontrolled torsion experiments have on time. And scientists and engineers who were too close, who died horrible deaths because they didn't understand what was really going on. <laughs> and the fact that biology and torsion fields are intimately connected. And if you line up a massive torsion field generator in the room, Richard Hoagland, a member of our team of intelligence, if you know what you're doing, Martian Revelator, you will not kill yourself, but you will change the EnterpriseMission.com environment of intelligence for decades, if not centuries, because torsion can be held in memory by other materials. 